Hello, can you hear us? Testing, one, two, three. Yes, sir, one, two, one, two, three, four, hello. I'm just logging in. Yeah, we're live and we have Patsy Smith. Hello, Aaron and Maury. Barry's here. Hi, this Nam. Steve Smith. Hello, Maury and Aaron. Hope you all are having a great time in Nashville. And Barry says, yes. How are you doing, Aaron? Look, we're actually at the Nam show. Our first stream together is at the Nam show. How crazy is this? Okay, great. So, Maury, what's the best thing you've seen at this show so far? Probably the food, if I'm being brutally honest. We didn't really prepare a lot before this. We've been working hard to get into this uh, situation, and I really have really been very impressed with the food. Okay. What's the worst thing you've seen at the show? Really the lack of new product. We're excited to be here, and we're seeing our friends at the Martin booth. Uh, the Blue Ridge booth and some new friends were making, and it wasn't really much of a surprise. But uh, you know, we're we're kind of seeing what happened back in January virtually. We're, we're getting a chance to see that now uh, in person. So not that we expected anything different, but I I secretly thought maybe there'd be a couple of new models that we wouldn't have found out about till we got here, and and we didn't hear. Yeah, actually, there's been pretty much nothing. There's an IK multimedia pedal. But I have a feeling that was ready before, and they just held it back. Apart from that, there's been nothing. I think this has been, as I, as I predicted, this has been more of a get-together, slowly starting to get back to normal, celebrate. Obviously, Martin are here because Chris is stepping down. We saw the new CEO yesterday. I didn't get a chance to speak to him. It's, yeah, it's been more of a hangout, just an industry, let's get the ball rolling again kind of vibe, I feel. And I'm not surprised because... Right now, it's hard to release a new product. I'm not surprised. As a gear fan, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised at all. And, of course, in a year or two's time, we're going to have a lot of new stuff that was on the back burner. So that's going to be fine. Yeah. Were you able to uh, get any playing time at the Martin booth with any models you hadn't seen in a couple of years? Because it's been a long time since you were at the factory. Hang on. Lee K. So is there a CEO 10? No, Lee. No CEO 10. <laughs> that was yesterday maybe they just brought one out we didn't see but no well I did they've got all the standard lineup over there at the booth and I did play I was quite surprised actually I played the authentic aged and normally I don't like the thick necks I don't like the glued in saddle I don't like the relicking but I just thought it was a great guitar I really really loved it and then Tommy Emmanuel came over and played it later on and I asked him what he thought, and he said he liked it too. So that's a great guitar. So I'm still not, I'm still not sure how I feel about relicking guitars, but it does, do, it does do something cool. I think that's just a great model anyway, because I was talking to a luthier over there who was saying that hide glue does make it, it bonds better. The wood bonds closer, it's wood on wood, and you get that extra tone and stuff. So I do think those, those old Martins with the, the hide glue and the Madagascar rosewood and all that stuff is fantastic. The relicking, I'm not sure about, but that is a great guitar over there. Really, really great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been better. I think it's been better than I thought it would be. It's, it's kind of as sparse as I thought it would be, and yet I've still had plenty to do. I'm not done yet, and it's, it's going to finish in, a, in an hour or two, and there's still some booths I haven't been to. I, I never run out of things to do at NAMM, because you get talking to people. You know, you run into Larry Fishman. I ran into the guys that make the Acoustic Sonic. And you get talking, 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 and then before you know it, the, the time has just flown anyway. So it really is a networking event for me, definitely. And we also had a nice time with Saga Instruments, right? That was really cool. We had a nice dinner last night, and we got to, I got to spend some time at their booth a few times earlier on Saturday. I'm um, Saturday. It feels like the weekend. Earlier on Thursday, and then we got to, uh, to pair up with those guys last night. And uh, our friend Isaac, you might see some stuff on our YouTube channel where Isaac, our uh, sales rep, was playing some good stuff on the BR-160 and the BR-180. And we're going to try to take a few moments before this show is over. To, uh, both Aaron and I are going to stop by, see if we can't get some more good footage. But, yeah, they, they didn't bring a big, uh, a, a big variety of instruments, but they brought some of the core lineup. And we're trying to get some of that in, in Aaron's hands before the, uh, I want to say, before the weekend's over. Tell me again, it's not the weekend. It's Friday. It's not the weekend. 
Um, David Belcher, good afternoon, guys. Good to see you, David. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just been great to get out of New York and to hang with Maury for the first time in like a year and a half. And everyone's just been really friendly. I think everyone's just relieved to see people again. It's been absolutely great, right? But as for the future of gear, I don't know. I guess I've got a long career ahead of me with my YouTube channel. Because in three years, I think there'll be so much gear released, we won't know what to do with it. So until that point, we just got to keep playing the guitars and, and get, to that, get to that point. But yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a really positive thing they did this. I think it was good. Yeah, really good. Could I ask you a personal question? It depends how personal it is. Ish, personal-ish. Okay. Do, do you like the way I look without earbuds or with earbuds? This is the first time I've ever been with, with you. With, uh, actually, I went to the... Without having earbuds in. I went to the Ultimate Ears stand. I was toying with the idea of getting the custom fit in-ears. Oh, yeah? But they're not cheap, so I don't know. It's that whole thing, like, they can mold, they can mold them for your, ear, your ears here with a scanner, not the actual scanner, and that's free here. So I'm like, well... That sounds healthy. Healthy. <laughs> I, no, I just I was saying to them, I've got a really nice rig at home. I've got a really nice setup at home now, but I'm using fifty dollar earbuds. So all that gear is being monitored on by fifty dollar earbuds. It doesn't really make sense, you know. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. Are we allowed to ask you what you saw at the uh, GIBSON, oh, wow. or am I not allowed wow. to ask well, you that? Well, the problem is if, if I start gushing about Gibson. This, our relationship will be ended pretty soon, and all our friends will log off. Rosanna says, hi, Maury and Aaron. Happy Friday. Bill Springer. Hi, Aaron. Hi, guys. Doesn't look like there is a large crowd. There was more people yesterday. Got here this morning. It was like no one here. But again, for us, that's great. We get a chance to talk to people. Like, they would not have a chance to talk to us otherwise. Right, so Gibson don't have a booth here, but they have a new showroom a block away. And you haven't been there, right? No, I, I think if he, get, if he won't let him in, he's because he's got a Martin. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, actually, I was really impressed. I know I just got one, and I, I, I don't know if I'm biased or not, but I was really, really, really impressed. They've 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 found this way of showcasing their their lineup in a fun and exciting way without without being pretentious. And I did a whole walkthrough, so I'll post that on my channel. I did a whole walkthrough of the whole place, and then J, uh, JC, the um, CEO took us to a back room and I got some footage back there of a vault which is really fun and I can, I'm allowed to post that as well so I'll post all my videos next week when I get back to the New York but that was really cool and they've got some, they've got some exciting stuff um, coming and they have this I also filmed this custom shop the pieces of wood are hanging up on the on the wall on the, it comes down on the motor and you can choose the piece of wood for your Les Paul because they all have different patterns and you can choose the one you want. You can choose the pickups you want. You can choose the hardware you want. They take it down the road. They build your guitar. You get it in six months. Now, it's not cheap. Of course, it's six to ten grand, depending on what you get. But, but most custom shops of that kind of thing are that price anyway. And you can specify what you have. And another cool point, when you go into that room to choose that wood, there's a table. And on that table is where they pull things out to show you the colors and different things. And he told me that table is solid... Well, real Brazilian rosewood. And I didn't even believe him. I was like, no, that, that table, this huge table, is, that's not Brazilian rosewood. That's got to be worth over... A, we were saying a Martin 25 grand, right? Brazilian? Well, can you imagine the a size of wood that would a set for a guitar, not a table? Can you imagine a table, like a, a, ben, a workbench for guitars made out of... Brazil? Now, that's a bit flashy, but it's, cool, it's still cool. I didn't even know it was that. Yeah, it's really impressive. It really and and they were really nice too. Nice people. So that's good. Yeah. Let's see what they're saying about Gibson now. Yeah. Let's see if they logged off. Say hi to you guys in the chat. <laughs> I can't see the chat, but I want to say hello. Here we go. So Rosanna said hi, Maury and Aaron. Doesn't that nice cry? David Belcher. Any audio of Tommy playing the SC thirteen E? No, I don't know. That I mean, reminds me. I tried to do that four times and this guy. Every time he strummed a little bit on the guitar, someone else walked down the hall. It's Aaron Short, and I could not get him to play I that know. guitar. I know, for it's the risk. moment. He's just so through the masks. Who were we're masked on the show, and and we just had so many people everywhere he went. I I got a little bit of footage coming later, but it's going to be a while. I am uh, infamous now. Don Martin, the best name for a Martin fan, D Martin. Hi guys. I didn't see anything new at Martin. Is that the case? Yeah, yeah, like we like we predicted, 
they're not no company right now it seems is going to release anything new I mean, with it, uh, some are some are to be fair but most companies have got so many orders so much to do they're going to focus on getting those products up to um, caught up before they do something else you know that amp behind me has the worst tone i've ever heard in my life do not buy that amplifier um <laughs> i'm gonna aim my mic that way when i'm not talking <laughs> so um so that that's the yeah let us know if you can still hear us clearly by the way that's the consensus that um companies are doing really well they've got a lot of orders to catch up on and new products are in the works but won't be released for you know the foreseeable future and i think that's just i think that makes sense totally sorry to interrupt my producer is in my ear telling me that is the only new martin that they brought out at the show they finally unboxed it that you're what you're hearing in the background that crap <laughs> That's the brand new Martin guitar uh, that we can't wait to play. That is the SC8E. Pre-order it now at Maury's Music, Coldell, Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, so they might like it. The kids like this. It was so quiet for like two hours. All right, let's, let's move on. Lee says, have you guys enjoyed your trip? Did you enjoy the trip here? You drove, right? Uh, I, I hate driving, but I, I had a good time. It, we have... I don't know how you were. I, I followed a lot of people that like to live in the left lane, and you can't really get anywhere because yeah. they have the power to turn a two-lane highway into one lane. So I didn't enjoy the trip to here, but I enjoy being here and being not at home. So yes and no. You got a new car, though. You probably loved it. We drove a new car, but we stopped at Pittsburgh on the way, so it's still a long way. It's still, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, Mark Johnson, hi guys, you're only about five hours from Bristol, Virginia. Okay, Mark, we need a place to stop over on the way home, so get the, get the spare room ready, I'll be there soon. Lee says, have you guys enjoyed your trip? Yes, we have, Don Martin, still waiting for an OM18. I'll go tell Chris right now, we'll get you one soon as possible. <laughs> Thomas Moore, hey guys, I seen you, I seen Aaron sneak in at, on Maury's video. Well, let me clear that up. That was my video. I was filming it. I was the one that said, Maury, come over here. Look what's happening. And then he was, he was filming it, and then Tommy recognized me, which I thought was really impressive. And then it was pointed out to me that I must have been to 40 of his gigs and, and workshops, and that's why I'm basically stalking the poor guy. But he did, he did say he might come on for a live stream at some point. So I've had a few people promise to... Well, not promise. I've had a few people to... Offer to be on a live stream, so we have some more that stuff. That might be him, if you listen closely. <laughs> yeah, what you're hearing there is the downside of Nam when you when you can't hear anything. Let's see if I can get that guy on camera. Usually at Nam, they'll police those things. They'll say, "Look, you can't do that. You got to play for 30 seconds only." I mean, it doesn't sound horrible. It's just you know loud. No, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait for that guy to be doing a video, and I'm going to get in front of the camera. <laughs> I mean, if it was a song we knew we could sing while we're waiting, but... Oh. Bimo! What is the coolest new thing gear-wise? Well, there's some new pedals from IK Multimedia. They're interesting. Check them out. But new gear... There's not really any... There's nothing from Yamaha. There's nothing from Martin. There's nothing here from Gibson. There's Taylor's. They're just showing off current inventory, current range of products. You say Boss isn't here either? Okay, Boss didn't come, um, but they did announce a MIDI guitar, which looks really interesting, electric guitar, and a wireless MIDI controller foot pedal. So they do have stuff coming. That, I, you know, that, there are new products coming this year, but they're sparse and... People are playing it safe, you know, especially the guitar builders. They're the ones that are not releasing. Like, there's no SC28E because why would they do that? They wouldn't set, they couldn't set, they couldn't ship them, right? Yeah. So, what's the point of announcing something that you can't sell to people? So, I totally get that. I mean, you know, with what we've just been through, I always feel like we're lucky we have, we're even here, we're lucky we have any guitars in any stores at all, right? So, I'm, I'm okay with it. But. And it's worth mentioning, Aaron, I, I think Martin does have some stuff in the works that's either still in prototype stages or is ready to go to market, but they're not ready to bring it to a trade show and, and get any kind of press going about it if they can't deliver it for another right. year. So I, don't th I think if they wanted to, they could have brought some stuff 
but it's basically uh, I want I don't want to use the word pointless, but I think they're being smart, being conservative. That is that is what I was saying. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, Lee says, get him to play classical gas on a brand new D45. Thomas Moore says, how long a drive, Maury? I'm driving there in September. How long was the drive for you, total? It, it took us 11 hours, and I, I think we could have done it a little bit more quickly, but I would get ready for 11. You know? Yeah, I think, yes, yeah, from New York City, it's like 15 hours or something. We have, we have to stop over. We did it straight through the first time. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that again. Um... Yes, that's kind of it, really. But I'm happy to say it's been has been better than I thought it would be. Even though it is as sparse and empty. Remember, I was showing the map, and I was like, "Well, they're not there." And there's, I was kind of freaking out then, like, "This is going to be weird." But it's only been two days, and I think even by the end of today, that you know, I would have just had to, just just the right amount of time. So I think that's cool. And yes, I got to say that Gibson thing is really impressive, and I think Martin should do something like that. And I think they should hire me to do it. I'm going to go speak to them after we do this. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, build a, I'll build a Martin hangout place in Coldale, Pennsylvania. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so when are you going back? Are you traveling back tomorrow? We're going to drive back tonight. Oh, my. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be a little silly and uh, pack up our stuff, get in the car, probably go. We'll probably do eight hours and, and stay somewhere really nice on I-81. And he's going to live stream the whole journey home, so tune in for that. Roslyn, hi. Uh, Thomas Moore, thanks for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. It's so great to come to these shows and hang out with people. And although Fishman weren't here, the Fishman guys were around. And someone from our bags was here. I didn't get to see them. And everyone, yeah, like I said, everyone's just been here just to hang out and catch up and see each other in person. I think that's what it is. I think the Winter Nam show will be the big will be bigger and you'll start to see some new stuff i think there and that's that's usually the case anyway because some of them has always been the, the 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 little brother hasn't it it's always been the quieter one but i was just surprised like i thought like line six would have released a software update something like that like i'm surprised how some companies are just really like yeah. like laying off though so i don't know we'll see you could do a show martin versus gibson but well, we might be doing a show, Martin versus um, Blue Ridge. Martin versus Maiden, you're going to do a show with Martin Tommy, versus right? Maiden with Tommy Emmanuel. Martin versus Gibson. Martin versus just Martin versus everything. Joan yeah. versus Lori is going to be good too. They were talking last night oh, at dinner. Oh, it was great to meet Lori for the first time as well. Yeah, she's she's really great. We had a lot of fun, so that's cool. We'll try and get her on the stream sometime. And I've already met Joan. I'm not. Acting, like it wasn't great to meet Joe, and that's already happened. But Joe's been to your store. I think they, uh, I think they're going to do a, is it a podcast with <laughs> cello and something else? What did Joan play? <laughs> oh yeah. I'll, I, before you correct me, I'll just say what's wrong. It's going to be Joan's Daisy Rock guitar and Lori's cello, and and Joan is going to teach Lori on camera how to play Happy Birthday. I, I forget for whose birthday. I never forget when we pulled up outside <laughs> for the first time, and Joan was driving, and she's like, "There's no guitar store here." Can we, can we get out of here? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure there is. He invited me. And then you knock on the door, the special code, and you get invited in. So you weren't even there, were you? If you hadn't come back that day, I wouldn't have even met you that day. I that think was I was cutting the grass, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you know, and, it, and I stopped doing that to meet you because something told me, wait, this is going to be a really good, beautiful friendship that's oh. starting. Don't blow it off. You know, and then, and of course, my employee said, I can't say that. He knows I called you. So that was another good reason. I thought, I'll, I'll come down and say hi. And that was the Norwegian Wood video, remember? Yeah, that's still, still one of our best videos, I think. Um, our shortest. You could do, oh, when and I'm in Vegas or Cali, I'll be in Cali, Bill. George says, recently received the 0028-1937. There you go. Yeah, I'm interested in the D28-1937. But my question to the chat is, would you get the aged or the non-aged? What do you think? Uh, Thomas Moore, they are shopping today, so look out for your credit cards. Well, actually, I use her credit card these days anyway, so there's no problem there. I, what credit card do I have anymore? They're all frozen in ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish Spoon was here. I know. That was my comment. Um, so, yeah, I've had a great time, i got to say. And, yeah, I mean, running into Tommy Emmanuel, running into... That always happens. Any of these show, trade shows you go to, that's why you, I go. Because you run into Tommy Emmanuel, then you run into Larry Fishman, then you run into the guys. I mean, Tim Shaw from Fender makes the oh, pickups. Right, right. Robert Getzel. Robert Getzel, the the, the um, famous artist, yeah. my friend of mine. 
Um, saw Skip, Skip Bounce. Yep. Uh, saw my friends from My Side Pickups. That was cool. Ortega Guitars, John Kelly's good friend of mine. Um, yeah, it's really about the people, isn't it? Did you get to yeah. meet the Martin president, uh, Thomas? I didn't. I saw Thomas and I said to them, oh, can I speak to him? And they said, yeah, why not? But then he wasn't there the next time. Yeah. So I think he's, they've already warned him about me. It was funny. We were in our annual meeting and we're sitting there with Jerry, Lori and I at the table and having a sales conversation. And real casually, uh, Jerry said, oh, it's, it's got to be about three o'clock. Tommy Emmanuel is going to be playing over around the corner. I'm like, OK, we're done. He's, so we kept talking, keep talking. And uh, I missed most of that show. And really, that's really... Oh, th they knew. It was all planned. You had it here first. I didn't, uh, get, I didn't get to you sooner with my camera. But even before that, uh, we had noticed Tommy came in and sat down. I'm not sure if you saw this earlier. Tommy sat down informally and was fooling around with the SC-13. Oh, he was? was? Dying to see what it, what it looked like and what his expression would be. And, and even if he wouldn't have said it verbally, like what he's thinking of this. So I'm, I'm gawking at him and I'm looking across the camera, table and I'm getting my gear and I'm not paying any attention to the guy that's sort of in my way. He's not really blocking my view, but kind of like, come on, move. Here it was Thomas, the new CEO. And I oh. met him a minute later. I said, I'm sorry. I, Tommy Emmanuel came to the, he was sitting at the table and I should have spent time looking at you. And that was my first impression, uh, you know, making uh, with the big top brass. But he's, he seems like a really nice guy. I will, I will talk to him. I spoke to Jackie. She's lovely. Um... I went non-age, though I can see why people wouldn't play them. Did they, did they, did they still make the non-age D28 authentic or only the aged version? They make them both, yeah. They do make yep. both? Okay. Um, safe travels your trip home. Thank you, David. George says, future classic of an older classic classic. Are you talking about the, eight, means, the, yeah. the authentics? Lee K, did you ask Skip about the Owners Club? No, and I'm not going to. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'll send you my pack. I still got my pack. I, I found the calendar the other day. I haven't been using it. I should have sent it to you. Hey, let us know in the chat. Is there somebody you want to see on camera? Yeah. I could go to the Martin booth and demand that they come all the way across the floor and sit with us. Would you want to talk to anybody special? Anybody you want? To, if I could wrangle, use my charisma and wrangle somebody to come in and say hi. Oh, we want the new CEO. All right. I'll be back in two minutes. Keep talking. I'll keep talking. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's see if he can do this. Let's see if he can do this. He's going to try to get the new CEO of Martin Guitar to come and join us on the live stream chat. And he's got three minutes to do it. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of it, really. It's been, it's been great. It's, it's kind of weird to go out after all that time being locked down. It's nice to do that. Obviously, there's not as many people here as there normally would be because uh, of that reason. So a lot of companies didn't come, but it's been it's been it's been good. Yeah, Lee said try to get the new CEO. He's just gone to do that. We'll see if he does it or not. Uh, I'm just reading the chat here. Well, if he does bring Skip over, Lee, I will ask him about what's happening with the Owners Club. I don't think he's going to know. I think it just feels like, you know, some things are cut back right now because of shipping and time and things to do. And maybe they've had to, like, give that a rest for a while and they'll bring it back when they're ready. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But this is cool. In fact, maybe we should have just done an all-day live stream and just had people come over and chat on the camera. It could have been kind of, kind of, kind of cool, right? I did ask a lot of people if they're willing to come on and do a interview with me on the live streams in the future to get some more of those lined up. So I asked some people from Marden. I asked Tommy Emmanuel and some other companies that I met here, I asked them if they want to come on this on a future interview live stream. And a lot of people were quite receptive to that, so that would be cool. Lee, you've got all the good ideas. Get the new CEO to play. I heard he is a guitarist. Yeah, he's, I think he studied guitar building, and I think he plays a bit, so that would be cool. Oh, he's back again. Empty-handed. Are you empty-handed? Yeah, I, I found him and I waved to him, but he's in a meeting with four other people. Uh, I mean, that was a pretty tall order. Well, I didn't really have my hopes up. I did. You did? Okay. What's going to happen? You're more optimistic than me. 
Um, and did you ask Skip what's happening with the UK Owners Club? I did, and stay tuned later. That's a different podcast altogether, but oh. he was mad. I wish the merch on Martin Online shipped to the UK. It's Lee's birthday on Tuesday. Do, 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 do. I'll get him demonetized. On Tuesday, and he really wants a T-shirt. Um, Happy birthday. Can you not? Surely you can buy a Martin T-shirt in the UK, can't you? Can you just buy one from like Amazon if you're in the UK? You don't have to buy from Martin USA if you're in the UK for a Martin T-shirt, right? I know. I'm out of the loop with that stuff, but I thought you could just go on and buy one on uh, eBay or Amazon. I don't know. But I will bear that in mind. I will ask him about it. I was just saying, I think it's probably just because of resources right now and shipping costs and things like that. I would imagine, I'm yeah. just guessing, you know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Patsy Smith. What size is he? We have some here. <laughs> nice. Helping each other. Solved. Jim, my B-Day was yesterday. A big 68. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Really cool. So I, I thought you were kidding. So Tommy Emmanuel played the SC-13E. Oh, yeah. I got pictures of it, yeah. Oh. And the only thing I did here at the end was he said, wow, that's great. I'm really glad I got to check this new one out, but I didn't get to hear any more of that conversation. I'll have to ask. I think... Uh, I recognize who was at the table, so I'll see if anybody got feedback from him. The, the thing with Tommy is he's so ingrained with Maiden. It would have to, it, for him to play something else on stage, it would have to be a huge thing, you know? Like it, it's probably never going to happen, in my opinion. But do, do you not think that he finds the SC-13E as comfortable as what he plays on stage? I do, because what was interesting with the Authentic, when I asked him what he thought of the Authentic, is he said it's, got, it's hard to play, and that's just how these guitars are. Yeah. Now... If he was talking about the current standard series, I would I would disagree and say, well, you can set that low as well, like your maintenance. But with those authentics, we were talking about this earlier. You can't exactly sh shave the saddle and change the action and straighten the neck because everything's kind of as it is, right? So I get what he said. Well, he still played it great. You know, you just got to find one that's got a great action out of the box, and and it sounded great. Um, I think he would much prefer the SC thirteen E because he likes a really low action. And that's just the way he plays and the, and the style he plays. That wouldn't work for me. It would be buzzing all the time. But if you play finger style, the, the super low action is actually a better thing. It's really good. I think he would like that guitar. I think, I think the Maiden pickup system is his sound, and he needs that sound. I think that's the thing. And I think, I mean, let's face it, he's, he's got such a history of Maiden. He wouldn't just walk away overnight, right? But, but what he could do is say, yeah, it's a good guitar and Martin are going in a good direction for the people, for players like myself. And yeah, I'd be interested to know what he thought of that. Yeah, if he's, if he's on my, if he does a live stream with me in the future, we can ask him. I'd be interested to get his, get his words on that, yeah. But I, I know, I know he, you know, he used to say he owned an old Gibson, an old Martin. He does have those guitars. It's just, he's, he's made that, that maiden guitar on stage such a part of his act, you know? He uses the microphone in it. He uses the, the, even the controls on the side. Oh. He uses that. He changes it all the time. Wow. Where Martin want to get away from that, they want the controls in the guitar. They don't want cut holes in the side of the guitar. But Tommy's using that. He's using that as part of the, of the rig. So, yeah. But it's oh, interesting he played it. I'm a big fan of Tommy Emmanuel, yes. He's buddy. But, but he can play, yeah. But he can play anything. Uh, you see him picking up guitars. You know, people, he, you'll go to a workshop and someone will hand him a, their guitar, like Breed Love, and he'll just shred it. It doesn't matter. Well, you know? if Lee's still watching, I want to you know, call you to the carpet on this. Has he tried the Backpacker, though? Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> I actually didn't mind it on your live stream, which is why I think sometimes the mics on the live stream kind of enhance sound a bit. Because in a room like this, the Backpacker just sounded like a, you know. Like a Backpacker. Like but a I mean, do you think Tommy Emmanuel <laughs> could make that sing? That's my question. No, no. Right. Not that good. Look, it is what it is. You know, we always talk about guitars and, and, and construction. I was just talking about a dreadnought with high glue. That's what gives you that extra 5% of tone. You take away the body and make a backpack. It's not, how can it possibly sound that like that? It's not physically possible. It is something that you could either take on vacation and practice on or paddle down the canoe, <laughs> paddle canoe with, but otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> We're so mean to that thing. You know, I don't think my, I've, I think I heard a story of the backpacker once that they didn't design that. A guy brought it in and said, hey, you should sell one of these. His name is McNally. That's McNally. something Martin basically yeah. adopted, yeah. Yeah. It's not their fault. Yeah. So maybe in the future they'll make their own backpacker with scalar bracing and VTS top. High glue. <laughs> High glue. 
I like low action for my fingers, but high action for sound. I agree. That's the, that's always the problem we face, isn't it? The low action yeah. plays better, high action sounds better. Isn't Tommy sponsored by Mayton? Well, that's the thing. Tommy Emmanuel basically helped to develop the pickup system. So he's obviously really in deep with that company. So he's not going to just walk away unless, unless it's a really big deal, you know? Lit almost literally. literally. Um, you're the sweetest Patsy. Thank you, Roslyn. Happy birthday, Jim. I'm watching and working or trying to, says Lee. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, it's been a good show for me. It was great to meet your friends from Saga. We had a good time. We've had a, we had a great time. It was great to see you. All the, all the uh, Zooming we do and all that stuff just to finally get, get back in real life with you. It's been I fun. I know. I mean, uh, there's Roeth. Look, how's your, how's your guitar, Roeth? Um, I feel the same way about gigs, Maury. Like, I love that we have the ability to stream our chats and, and our shows. But it's, it's nothing like actually meeting up in person and doing it, right? Although I do wish we had the, the full camera rig here and not your iPhone 10. But, um, you know. Um, Always <laughs> complaining. <laughs> no, it's impressive. I didn't think we could even do this. We're streaming live from the trade show. It's amazing. Forget who you're with. Come on. I know, I know. Come on. Roa says, good to see everyone. Michael says, hey. George says, with you there, Lee. The triple O is hard to play, but worth it. Oh, because the action you have on it. It's that thing, isn't it? You get that action where it's just right. It's just low enough to play, and it's just high enough to sound how you want it to. Yeah. And that's always the thing when you pick up a guitar. If it's got that action set like that, that often they're the guitars you think, oh, this is a great one. It's just they've got the action just right on that guitar. Oh, yeah. That's hard to do. Sometimes you've got to do that yourself. Um, George says, oh, Robert says, my double O 18V is awesome, but I'm always interested in new guitars. That is the problem, Roweth. We're always looking at the next one. So, <laughs> well, that's my problem anyway. But uh, Roweth, I'm glad that Roweth agrees. Speaking of that, are you more inclined, be honest, we're on camera with friends, are you more inclined to get a custom shop Gibson for seven grand, <coughs> excuse me, or that Martin Authentic Aged? Is it a coin flip? Those custom shop Gibsons are Les Pauls. They're not acoustic. I did play some uh, some Gibson custom shop acoustics that were really nice as well. They're all they're all in that price now, aren't they? They're all around like five grand, six grand. Those custom, uh, you know, Fender and everything. They've all gone up to that kind of price now. But they are worth it. All I care about is that it's worth it. You know, sometimes you play an instrument, you're like, well, it's how much money? But like the Gibsons I played and the look and the feel, they were definitely worth it. And the authentic, that authentic is definitely worth it. I want to do some more research though because. You know, you know I'm, I'm, I've been thinking like D28, HD28. I kind of just want to get a really, like a really classic Martin. I can't believe that neck didn't bother me more. Is that, is that a, a V-neck? No, no. It's, ah. it's got, there's some V in it, but it's its, it's, it's not, own neck. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not like the CEO7? Not, it's not a Right, 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 no. right. It is chunky, but it's not like, it's not the V-neck. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, we'll see in a minute. Yeah, I'll go play it again. Um, I don't know. I think I've just realized on this trip that when you find a great guitar, it's a great, that's it, you know, like that, all these, we talk about specs and I think we should, but some, and I'm not saying I never thought that high glue wasn't good. Of course it is. But think of the specs on that guitar. Madagascar Rosewood, scallop bracing, is a Addy top? That's VTS Addy, yeah. VTS Addy, high glue no truss rod so everything is just glue uh, if that doesn't sound good then you're gonna have a problem aren't you i mean come on it has to sound good and you know not to uh, take the attention off of me which i would never want to do the new custom shop guitars that came out a few months ago that are going to certain dealers there are a lot of guitars in that specific category that do share some of the authentic qualities not all of them but there's now a bridge between the best standard series stuff the best modern deluxe stuff like basically it goes standard series, modern deluxe, mm. the new custom shop stuff that came out this year and the authentic. So there might be a custom shop experts guitar somewhere that has some of the features of an authentic and a neck you like better. So don't forget that either. You know, I, I, would, I, I, think, I think I would just go for the authentic. I, I think I've thought about this for a few years you now. I love the standard series Martins. But for me, a Martin guitar, and I think the reason most people like Martin guitar is the history is the old guitars. And I think those authentics, like it's, it's, it's just like you've opened your closet and your grandfather 
his grandfather's guitar is sitting there and you pull it out and you just and it just rings for me that is i know i think i'm so, I, I, has anyone watching this got one of those authentic guitars i think i don't know why they're not like the top seller because for me that is a martin guitar i know i sound like an old man now but for me that is a martin guitar right that's a martin guitar that's what that's what paul mccartney played that's what Johnny mitchell played that's what all my heroes played that's this guy that behind us in half an hour ago that was i think he was playing that <laughs> <laughs> but and i don't think i'd even try to amplify that i think i would just get that and use that as a pure acoustic you know it's just i think that's what that's designed for you know, those and those gibsons i saw that's what they're designed for and then you get something like the SC13 or the, the GPC for the stage, you know. I think that's what Martin should do. And I think that is kind of what they're doing. But I think they should do it even more. Make those classic, classic guitars and then make those super modern guitars. They're right over there. Go tell them. You're so bashful when you're at the booth. You're talking like this now on the camera. Go tell Thomas. So, so I, told, um, I told Larry Fishman that that aura system was great. And he said, well, you know, they didn't really want They wanted to get rid of the holes like everyone knows. But I said to him, like, the SC13E should have adopted that system. The SC13E should be, or the 2080, should be the modern stage guitar. All the, all the fancy all technology, all the cutaways, all the, all the shim feature, all, the, you know, all this stuff. Um, then the, the traditional should just be authentic, traditional Martin guitars that people grew up with. That's, that's, that's my opinion. But I don't know. Will they go that direction? We don't know, because right now they're just busy making guitars, right? They can't even think like that, yeah. But That's we'll see. down the road. That's way down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me see what's happening here. The picture and sound is actually better than TV. But she's got a terrible TV. <laughs> when do you guys start drinking? Can we buy you shots? <laughs> How about we do shots, and then we go and do a live stream from the Martin booth? That could be interesting. You can never have too many guitars. I received a birthday card that said, he who dies with the most guitars wins. Wow. Life is short, buy the guitar. That's going on my next t-shirt. I've used a CEO, I've seen a used CEO 9 for sale for $3,800. Is that more than retail? That's close to it if it's not more right. than that, yeah. And you know why, yeah. because people are thinking, well, you can't buy them, so yeah. supply and demand, right? There's one over there. Did you play What's it at that? the booth? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have played one before, but I, I preferred the 7 myself. Don't understand why they quit the GPC 28E. It's still a great guitar. Glad they got mine. I agree, Bill. I like the GPC a lot. I guess the one that sells the least gets the, gets the chop. Gibson Garage. Hi, Craig. It's actually incredible. I agree. Well, I'm a Martin man. I just purchased a J45 Epiphone inspired by Gibson. Absolute cannon. And that's how I feel about my Noel Gallagher guitar. I love it. But... The good thing about Gibson guitars, though, is they're very different to Martin guitars. Yeah. You know, you're not going to... I personally can't see myself being one or the other. They've, they're very different feeling and sounding and smelling guitars. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, all right, awesome. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up. We've got to the end of the chat. And just if you're watching, subscribe to Maury's channel and my channel because I think our plan is to show some well, we'll do a more in-depth review when we get back we'll show some show some pictures some clips and uh, talk in more detail about what we saw um and our experiences that we had and uh yeah i've, I've got several things that will go up i've got the i've got the walk around from the gibson thing i've got uh, some other walk around stores and things i did so i'll put those up next week when i get back and we'll do a live stream and do this again but after after we had a chance to process what we saw and what we did yeah, so that'd be cool. So look out for that. Um, George says, cheers. And Jim says, I was in a music store this week and noodle, noodling on the All Walnut 00L with performance neck. Very nice. Is the 00L, is that what Roweth bought? Uh, no, he has the 00L. Oh, 18, yeah. Yep. Have a safe trip home, you guys. See you all next week. Awesome. Thanks both. Stay safe. Safe journeys home. All right, everyone, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Maury's Music and subscribe to Aaron Short Music. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the stream next week, right? Are we going to do Monday? Yes. Okay, we'll be live Monday at 4 p.m. I think we'll do the NAM review show. We'll put our pictures together and show some slides We're going to do it from here again. I'll be home. I need to, get, I need to sleep. I'm really, I'm, I always get tired at NAM shows, but I'm even more tired this year, like just walking and standing and talking to people. I'm going to yeah. miss you. Yeah. 
Well, don't worry. I'm coming to the store in a few months' time. I'm going to hang out. All right. Any last words? Uh, just thank you so very much for caring enough about this show to watch this impromptu stream. We're, uh, we're clearly addicted to it, and it's, it's your show, <laughs> not ours. I, I'm really grateful that we took the time to do this and, it, and somebody watches. So, you know, kidding aside, this whole thing has been really good to me over the past couple of years, and I want to say thank, thanks to the viewers and thanks to you. Oh, Lee, so, um, sorry, sorry to hear you're going to a funeral on Monday. And Robert says, thanks, guys. Looking forward to the live streams next week. Yeah, we'll do them. There should be lots of videos next week. Rosanna, thanks both. Have safe journeys home. Cool, we will. We appreciate it. So, yeah, stay safe and look out for us next week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Right, see you.